And this afternoon, uh, we have our first exercise uh, that is to research someone online. Um, so our like speakers, Karina and Simone, uh, give us assignment of like stalking someone for an hour and a half and write a description of that person based on the findings online. And we're essentially interested in what sort of data voodoo doll is created of you um, from sort of browser history to DNA data that is or can be used as sort of a truth. Um, over your physical body. In 2008, I organized an um, open air festival in Verona. Not true. <laughs> I traveled to Paris and Luxembourg and while listening to my favorite music, that kept for QD. I carry always my cannon with me and refuse to use the flash. And so here is what my stalker wrote about me. A day in the life of Venus starts with a photo typically abroad and surrounded by art. There's no fear about her, she's always off to the right start. Her technical skills numerous and her character is bold. She, believe, uh, she realized both recently when praised for having the typing skills of a 14-year-old. So today, the second day of the workshop, we did an exercise called Intimacy Biometrics. And I think people found it sort of fun, silly, sometimes a bit tedious. Um, and that was really the point, was that we wanted people to experience how their own bodies are kind of measured and understood by machine vision, by biometric systems. Uh, so we really had people measuring each other up and putting that on a piece of paper and making these sort of communal portraits of three people on a piece of paper. And the results are quite beautiful and quite strange looking. We did like measure out our bodies. We measured, we, we have been measured out and we measured out the bodies of other persons. Yeah. Like in, in like a two dimensional space? Yeah, from CD to 2D. Yeah. And then we layered our bodies on a paper and got like one big picture out of us. Yeah. And then yeah, we did a 3D modeling with our handies, and uh, we don't know yet what we're gonna do with these like pictures we got. So we will see what will happen with our bodies tomorrow. Yeah. Today was uh, day three of the Internet of Bodies workshop at Hackers and Designers. Um, what we did today is, well actually yesterday it already started, as in we asked the participants to scan each other with an app called 123 d Catch. Um, to then today download each other um, and sort of use the group as a database um, to create yet new bodies either by themselves or in groups of their choosing. Um, and what was really interesting is to see that for the first time throughout this whole workshop, which I think was pretty analog, um, people actually had to grapple with say internet speed to sort of upload and then again download their bodies and to also work with um, software that might have sort of overloaded their um, computer processing power. And so it was interesting is to see how that then translated into their making or hindered their making. And so over the three days we've taken people through writing uh, profiles about each other to mapping their bodies, uh, doing a kind of analog version of biometrics on each other and finally today designing their own avatar and sometimes creating a communal avatar with other people in the group and, and using cutting and pasting parts of each other's bodies into, into one communal body.